It was a concern brought up at the opening of the General Assembly this week in Des Moines, allowable growth. Last year they did not set the allowable growth rate, so we're making assumptions, um, you know, basically based on what, not knowing what we're going to need for our, for our budget. Cardinal Superintendent Joel Pedersen knows exactly how hard it is to make a budget and not know what kind of extra funding his district is going to receive from the state. With declining en enrollment, the allowable growth is very important because we're, ha we're receiving less dollars anyway, and so the allowable growth uh, allows us to continue to, to uh, pay salary costs, to pay uh, fuel, to pay for um, you know, some of our needs. And the earlier it is settled, the better. We need it to be settled early in the session and not hold off until May, June, when we already have, have uh, had to send our budgets into the, uh, the county auditors and the state auditors. We need it to be uh, adequate and settled early in the session within the first 30 days would be the best. Pedersen says that his district provides the best education possible, and it shows. Test scores are going up, a dramatic decrease is taking place in failing students, but over time, those are just some of the things that could be in jeopardy if lawmakers don't come to a decision soon. When you look at our area, and especially in the area of the heartland, the uh, majority of our districts are, are losing enrollment, except for a few exceptions. And it's just getting very difficult to uh, deal with declining enrollment uh, on top of low al allowable growth rates. So when you put those things together, it makes it tougher and tougher um, to run your school district and provide a quality education when you're not receiving um, the proper funding that's that's needed in a, on a yearly basis. Reporting from Eldon, I'm Greg Deffenbaugh for KTVO News.